Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. So Dallas will get the first possession. And as we're into the middle of the season now, GA, how much of a rhythm are teams in for their day-to-day -day activities? I mean, most teams should have found their flow by now, and they know their rotations, and guys are in the groove of the season. I mean, that's not the case for every team, unfortunately. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Grant Williams is out there with Dwight Powell, and it's Green in at the three, the small forward. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. Here's Doncic. The putback, and the rebound goes to the Warriors. Thompson in the corner. Golden State moving the ball around. Kicks to Curry. Off target from outside. And so Green will bring it up for the Mavericks. This is to Powell. Over in the corner, Williams. Outside, Green. Powell, the pass to Williams. Six on the shot clock. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Thompson for three. Kicks it out to Wiggins. The Beast passes to Wiggins. There's the pick. Over Green. Here's the Beast. And at last, they get one to fall. Boy, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. Here's Doncic. Good on the baseline, Jay. No matter what you throw at Doncic, he'll adapt. Nice shot there. Golden State's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. The Beast. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. The Beast's got five. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Irving passes to Doncic. Thompson against Irving. Powell sends a screen for Irving. The pass to Pop. Over in the corner, Williams fires for three. Trills the three-pointer. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Kyrie was the big signing for the Mavs this summer, and Greg, they altered their roster quite a bit. Yeah, they needed to mix up their approach, right? That they liked the look of Kyrie Perry. Now they're all in with this core for the next few years. And here is Irving. After the three-pointer from the Beast. And here's Doncic from the arc. And the Beast pulls it down. The Beast's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. And here's Doncic from the arc. Count it. His second make in four attempts. And normally near the top, handling the ball. Luca sneaking out to the corner there, getting three for three. Man, what a... there he really really relishes making the game easier for his teammates and so it's Dallas with him. the Warriors making the shot Irving finds Doncic lets it fly and the Mavericks getting another bucket right there and he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage Curry with him He's picked up by Doncic. Got that one up quick. And the defense has to press up on Curry, or he'll stick those shots. Doncic looking it over. Offline with his three. Warriors leading by four. This is it to Wiggins. Here's the beast. Into the lane, and he jams it with authority. Well, Andrew Wiggins, the former first overall pick showing off his passing skills there and so it's Doncic with it he brings it up for Dallas 
outside Irving. Doncic against Curry. Doncic passes to Powell. And the dunk by Powell. I like Doncic's willingness to share the ball. He wants to see other guys involved in producing. Curry outside. And another three for Golden State. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Hiding it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Irving kicks to Doncic. Williams a screen on Curry. Here's Doncic, and that one drops. Doncic has got nine. You know, as I watch Doncic, I think it's futile to try to distract this guy. His focus and concentration and control of himself is uh, excellent. The V just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Williams can't get it to go. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Here's the beast, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Irving passes to Doncic. Back to Irving. Some nice passing here by Dallas. But three. And it's Looney with the rebound. So for Dallas, their last game, a win against the Lakers in L.A. Yeah, it was all on deck helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Absolutely, especially on the road when you need those guys off the bench to up the end. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here of the game. point what better time to check in and see what rookies have helped their teams the most and how they stack up in the rookie race as they all vie for rookie of the year and you look at the beast well he's shown he's a force as we move along in the meat of the season sitting pretty at that number one spot now and it's his race to lose yeah, this is just a special special player no question he should be favored for the rookie of the year award at this point I did all of that. I mean, it's taken him only about half a season to show that he's going to be one of the faces of the NBA for a long time to come. Barring injury, the ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Doncic against Kerr, and he finishes nicely on the way. Doncic has got 11 points. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Here's the beast. That ball's nice feed that time from Wiggins. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Williams passes to Pop. He kicks to Doncic. Outside Williams for three. And Curry pulls it down. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Sinks the three-pointer. Wiggins has got his second bucket of the game to go. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing mm -hmm. on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. This late intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punch blazing. 
Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative and make something happen. Green, no luck. Warriors leading by 13. In terms of finishing ability, it's hard to think of someone who tops Kyrie Irving. Greg, the list is short, particularly when you talk about guys of his size, okay? His bag of tricks is limitless when you talk about finishing in close quarters against bigger guys. There are a few that are in his class in that regard. And here is Irving following the three from the beast. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. And you know what? That tells the story in a lot of games, guys. And here you go. It's telling the story tonight, too. Now here's Thompson. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Utah Jazz. Buries the long-range jumper. And that's now 25 points for the Beast. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. And here is Irving. Following the three moments ago from the Beast. Powell with a screen on Thompson. Irving passes to Powell. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got six rebounds here tonight. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Doncic with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Looking to end the run. And the Beast pulls it down. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. It's a victory here for the home team last time these guys met. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. And, you know, one of the things about winning the physical battle like they did in that game, it gives you a lot of confidence going into the next meeting. You know you can push this team around in the paint and win the physical battle. Peyton, he's checked in for the Warriors. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Powell. Derek Jones comes in for Grant Williams. Hardaway's checked in for Josh Green. And it's Hardy in for Irving. They're really on their heels at this point. Yeah, on both ends of the floor, Kevin. They've lost some confidence along the way. Donchich outside. Pass to Jones. One up, one down. Two points with it. First shot this game. Warriors leading by 23. Outside Curry. Heat. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. 55 seconds left to play here in the first. Doncic kicks to Hardaway. Some nice passing here by Dallas. And it's Hardy with the jam. Another great pass from Doncic. You pretty much expect him to tally double-digit assists every game. Here's the Beast. And another three for Golden State. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. And here's Dodgich from the arc. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Peyton passes to the Beast. And another three for Golden State. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. Donchich left side. To the left side wing. Here's Hardy. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Hardy's got five points so far. And that's it for the first quarter in what's been a very lopsided game. The Warriors on top, running away with... 30. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This. For the Warriors. 
Kevon Looney is checked in for Sharich. The Beast comes in for Green. Wiggins is checked in for Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Thompson in for Peyton. Out on the perimeter, Thompson and Wiggins. Kevon Looney out there with the Beast, and it's Curry in at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for Golden State. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. The Beast in the last matchup against Utah was all business. He tallied 50 points, and he did a little bit of everything for them in that one, adding a triple-double in the process. The numbers he put up were really impressive, and he's somebody everybody loves watching. Guys, back to you. Yeah, David, in stretches, he was absolutely dominant. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. For sure. And draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small in his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. How with a screen on Curry. Doncic against Kurt unloads from nine off the left rim and out. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Back to Powell. And the dunk by Powell. And all Powell needs is good positioning inside, and when he does get it, he's throwing it down. Here's the beast. Off target from three-point range. A bunch of threes for him in this first quarter. A bunch of threes for him in the first quarter, but he's made zero here in the second period. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. And last season, the Warriors' so-called two-timeline approach seemed to fall flat, didn't you think, G.A.? And whether it was chemistry or younger players still growing into their role, the Warriors are now clear. There's only one timeline, and that's Steph Curry. The kick out to Williams. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. You know, the scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. For the Warriors, they won their last contest that game against Utah. And, and you got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road, take good shots, and knock them down with confidence. Well, efficiency is critical, and I love how they ran their offense and got quality shots out of their sets. Williams has a screen for Doncic. Drives to the hoop. It's tipped. Here's Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. Thompson gets in a groove. It lifts this whole team. Great to see him shining like this on offense. Curry against Doncic. Launches a three. And the Beast pulls it down. The Beast's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Drills it from outside. The Beast's got 34. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. To the paint. To off the run. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. The Warriors shooting 70% from the floor. Truly incredible work from this offense tonight. Sinks the triple. And that's now 37 points for the Beast. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Pass to Doncic. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Assistant. Doncic has got four points now in the quarter. Even for Doncic, this is a big night in the scoring cop, giving his fans their money's worth and then some. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. Puts up a deep three. And the Beast pulls it down. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. From 20 feet out. Almost, but it rolls out. You're not going to see that very often. 
plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Williams can't get it to go. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. The Beast can't hit. Dallas shooting around 41% on the night. Now the pass to Hardy beyond the arc. That shot is off target. That makes him two for three. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. And he's good on the three ball. 